Hi travelers! Today we are at the Clark's Bears Amusement Park in Lincoln, New Hampshire. This was one of my favorite places to go on summer vacation as a kid, so I am super excited to check it out for the first time in over 15 years. Clark's is located on the Daniel Webster Highway in Lincoln, just minutes from Woodstock and Franconia Notch State Park. What's great about this location is that it's right off the main road and super easy to find. The exterior of the park looks pretty much the same as it did when I was younger. You can watch the train roll in, blowing its loud horn, and then enter the park through the train station. The parking lot is paved, even close to the entrance, which is always a plus. Inside Clark's Bears are some immediate photo opportunities as well as a small restaurant to get some food. Upon entering, you'll receive a paper map along with a schedule of activities in the park. For example, today we got here at Park Open at 9.30 and the first show for the circus was at 10, so that gave us 30 minutes to explore a little bit. Then there are two or three train rides throughout the day on the White Mountain Central Railroad, as well as two or three bear shows where black bears put on a show for guests, jumping on barrels, riding skateboards, and much more. And don't worry, the shows are scheduled specifically so that you can see everything. The train won't leave until the bear show is over, and the bear show won't start until everyone has returned from the train ride. The best part of the train ride is the Wolfman, but I'll share more of the Wolfman lore in just a moment. In addition to the train, the circus, and the bear show, Clark's also has several museums included in the price of admission. These showcase old farming and automobile equipment, old train parts, novelty memorabilia, and lots of other cool items you probably have never seen before. There are small gift shops, ice cream shops, bumper boats, and even a rock climbing wall. Clark's Trading Post started as a roadside attraction right around the time of the Great Depression. The original gift shop offered a small selection of souvenirs, maple candy products, and drinks for tourists. The amusement park was called Ed Clark's Eskimo Sled Dog Ranch where tourists could enjoy a guided tour of their ranch with purebred sled dogs, as well as other cool artifacts from the area. It wasn't until 1931 that the Clarks purchased their first black bear as a way to attract even more guests to their roadside park. Later on, the Clarks added the Wolfman. Now, the Wolfman is a miner in this area searching for unobtainium, and unfortunately, the White Mountain Central Railroad goes right through the Wolfman's mine, and he does not like that. Needless to say, once you enter Wolfman territory, he will chase the train and yell at passengers to get off his land. As a kid, I always found him a little bit scary, but when I got to high school, he poked fun at me and my brother for wearing matching bandanas, and ever since then, he's had a special place in my memories of Clark's Bears. Overall, I love Clark's and always have. But as an adult, I realize now how small this park actually is. So is it worth the $27 admission for both adults and children? Well, I think it certainly can be. The key is to get to the park when it opens and take advantage of all it has to offer. If you arrive at 9.30, you have 30 minutes to ride the bumper boats or climb the rock wall before the circus starts at 10. Or check out one or two of the mini museums. Hitch a ride on the train, catch a bear show or two, and then go to the other museums and gift shops and you'll have spent the entire day here. I'll give Clark's Bears a 4 out of 5 stars because there really isn't any other amusement park in New England quite like this one. I uploaded a separate video about the Clark's Trading Post gift shop, so make sure you check that out, link in the description. And leave a comment below if you've ever visited Clark's or if you have a similar amusement park in your area.